This week sharing some images that I've captured with the very latest LED lights from Nanlite at an event in Brisbane. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, I'm Paul from Photo Genius. I'd like to welcome you to my channel where I share photography tutorials, tips, camera settings and much, much more. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Now there's one change that I've been wanting to make to my studio and office space for some time and that's the lighting. This is a small space and when I started this channel in 2016 I was using a single LED panel to light the space. I later replaced that with two Nanlite Pavatubes which are really great but I felt it was time for a change. Now I've featured and have been using LED lighting in many of my videos, particularly over the past couple of years. For convenience, I always ensure I've got a small LED light in my camera bag at all times. And I often use the superb Nanlite Pava tubes because they're really versatile portable lights and I use them to capture these images. Now in this video, I wanna give you a look at the very latest lights from Nanlite, which I had the opportunity to put to the test at a recent event here in Brisbane called Sip and Shoot. So Sip and Shoot is an event that I like to attend and support whenever possible. It attracts local photographers, creatives, artists, and models, and every event has a different theme. This month, the theme was cyberpunk. So think about Blade Runner, Matrix, and Robocop, and you get the idea. Now, when I mentioned Sip and Shoot to Nanlite, they were really keen to support the event. And we thought this would also be a great opportunity to test a couple of brand new lights they had. So they very kindly sent me an FC500B and FC300B, plus some light modifiers. Now at the time, these were the very first units here in Australia. So I wanna say a big thank you to Nanlite, the guys at Protog, and also Brisbane Camera Hire for supporting. On the night for the first setup, I attached the lantern softbox to the front of the light. Now this gives a soft diffuse light and gave some really great results. The feedback from other photographers was great and I was really happy with how these shots turned out. Now one of the great things about using LED lighting is it's a constant light source. So this means it's easier to see where the light falls, but also where the shadows are. Plus you can use your camera's light meter to balance the exposure. Now for events like sip and shoot where there may be multiple photographers, LED lighting is also ideal as anyone can take a photo at any time. Now constant lights are also very popular with product photographers and of course if you're making videos like I'm doing right now, LED lighting can't be beat. Now the Nanlite FC500B in particular is an incredibly bright light. In fact on the night I was running it at less than 40%. Changing the look by switching modifiers is really easy and quick as it uses the popular Bowens mount. This means there's a huge range of adapters, modifiers and other accessories that can be easily attached to the front of the light. Here as an example you can see us using the Nanlite Parabolic Softbox which provides a diffused, soft but more directional and controlled light source. It's very popular with fashion photographers. So now let's take a closer look at the Nanlite FC 500B and 300B. Now the lights themselves are really well made. They feel solid, but not too heavy. They're easy to set up. And as I mentioned a moment ago, the Bowens mount on the front does mean there are a number of light modifiers that will fit. But if you want to keep things simple, the lights also feature an umbrella mount built in. In the case, of course, we have the main light itself. It comes supplied with a removable 55 degree reflector. The main unit is remarkably lightweight and that's because the power pack is a separate unit. 
Of course, you get all the leads supplied in the power pack as a strap so you can hang it on a light stand. Plus, there's also a quick release plate if you're using a clamp. The two dials on the unit make it easy to fine tune the brightness of the light or adjust the color temperature with a range of 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. There's also 12 built-in effects and even Bluetooth so you can take control of the light using a smartphone. Plus there's a USB port for any future firmware upgrades. Now in use, I have to say I found both the Lantern and Parabolic softbox were both really easy to set up but also pack down and I have to mention the carry case that the actual lights come in as well because they're so cool. They're made from a crush proof foam, they're super lightweight but at the same time really strong and I know it might seem strange to get excited about packing cases but they are really good. Now I do think both the Nanlite FC 500B and 300B offer really great value for money. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below this video. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I really wanted to improve my lighting in this space. So I'm sure you won't be too surprised when I tell you that the light I've been using to record this video is the Nanlite FC 300B with the Lantern softbox attached to the front. I think it works really well. I'm very happy with the results and I'm looking forward to taking some more images and creating some more content for you guys using both the Nanlite FC 500B B and 300B really soon. And I want to say a big thank you to Nanlite for supporting. So I really hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps the videos get noticed and that helps the channel grow. Also consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And that of course is about it other than to say thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.